Welcome to Cecil Hills High School 2020 graduation. This morning you'll hear speeches from Principal Mr Sutton, Deputy Principal Mrs Haskett, as well as previous year advisors Miss O'Malley and Mr Dawkins. We have some messages of congratulations from our junior school, then we'll move on to our live presentation. Today is an event that works different. To the kindergarten class of 2008, congratulations on completing the last 13 years of education. Fortunately for you, the coronavirus cloud has a silver lining and you've been successfully spared the 3000 word version of this speech, complete with Dr. Seuss references. Welcome to this short graduation address. Year 12, you'll never forget the experience that is high school. You'll miss the high school, you'll miss your friends, you'll miss your teachers, and you'll definitely miss the brownies from the canteen. On behalf of the school, I congratulate you on this fantastic achievement. Just 12 and a half years ago, you nervously started primary school, wearing a kindergarten uniform way too big for you. Fast forward, and whatever your journey, you've all arrived at the same destination here together today. There are many, many things that you'll miss when you leave Cecil Hills High School. Finally, at long last, you'll get to live in a world without bells going off every 75 minutes. You'll finally be allowed to have your mobile phone switched on and in full sight. And you can now celebrate the fact that you can legally chew gum without having to pretend that you were eating a Mentos. Most significantly, you can now wear any coloured socks you want. Since 2008, when you were in kindergarten, so much has changed in the 13 years you've been attending school. In 2008, in Australia, we had a population of 21 million. We had our first female Governor-General. The apology to the stolen generations was delivered in Parliament. The 2020 summit took place to plan a vision for Australia in 2020. The iPhone was released in Australia. Google Street View software was released. Channel 9 launched its first high-definition channel. Novak Djokovic won the Australian Tennis Open. And the highest grossing film was The Dark Knight. So much has changed in this time. Our welfare team, expertly led by Mrs Randall as Head Teacher Welfare, has done a wonderful job in making you ready for the next phase of life. It takes a massive amount of blood, sweat and tears to be a successful year advisor. I'd like to thank a large team of Year Advisors who have supported you right from the beginning. Mr Dawkins, Miss O'Malley, Mr Issa, Miss Cassetto, and more recently Miss Fagan and Mr Robinson. They've organised the pep talks, the grade meetings, the excursions, the camps, the counselling, the mentoring, the emotional support and so much more. I'd also like to thank Mr Alfonsi for his hard work and dedication as your senior coordinator and for continually steering you in the right direction. Just as you've had a dedicated team of year advisors, you've also had a team of fantastic deputy principals looking after you. Mrs Tyson and Miss Scott supported you in the junior years and Mrs Haskett has expertly led you in the last couple of years as you sprint towards the finishing line. You've been fortunate to benefit from their collective guidance and I know they've made a positive impact on your education. Here we go, I'm going to say it, I am the most fortunate principal in New South Wales working at the best school in New South Wales. Year 12, you've made a positive impact on my life and our school and you leave with our best wishes. I'll have fond memories of you as a grade and will enjoy watching your next chapter unfold. On behalf of our wonderful school community, best wishes for the future and congratulations on achieving this important milestone. G'day Year 12, congratulations. We're so excited for you to have your graduation formal and final exams coming up. This is Axel, he wanted to say hello as well as
Hi, Year 12. It's Mrs. Dawkins, although some of you might remember me as Miss Sharma. Congratulations and good luck for the future. I'll try and keep it short, guys, uh, which has always been a bit difficult for myself. But look, you guys have made it this far, um, all the way to the end in, in a very tough year. So congratulations on that. This time now is all for you. Graduation, whatever that may look like, formal, what that may look like. We know that at Cecil Hills High School, it's going to look fantastic. But take this time to really enjoy what you have left with your teachers and your peers, because it's, there's nothing like school once you leave. And that experience of being able to enjoy this time together is something you want to cherish forever. Don't stress about the exams. It's going to happen no matter what. So give it your best crack. By the end, no one's going to look at you and go, hang on, there's number 72 for English walking down there and I'll look out for that 42 maths. The numbers are just for you, but the feeling that you will get by the end of the accomplishment that you've achieved this year is significant and it's fantastic. So please always keep touch. I'm so uh, glad I've received some emails from some of you over the years and good luck. See you guys. Hi, 12. Congratulations. Wow, I can't believe you finally made it. This is such an amazing achievement and I'm so proud of all of you. I have so many memories to share with you guys. There are so many things that I'm grateful for that I learnt being on this journey with you. Um, I can't believe it's already been 12 months since I was with you guys and the last 12 months have been absolutely crazy, but I know for a fact that you guys would have definitely embraced whatever life had to throw at you and just took it on board and did what you had to do and get on with it. Um, some of my fondest memories of you guys was the first day that I met you in year six for our orientation day. Um, big, bright, scared eyes, what, looking around, wondering what the heck high school was going to be about, sitting up in the library and you guys all chanting, um, good morning, Miss O'Malley and good morning, Mr. Dawkins, which really blew us away because it was something that we didn't expect, but we really loved. Um, from that, we had so many great team building days. You worked together all the time. We spoke to you about teamwork and respect. And I can honestly say that those are the two qualities that I know each of you will be able to take with you and embrace every day in your future and hopefully pass on to other people that surround you. Some of my other fondest memory of you guys was definitely Year 7 camp. You guys were faced with challenges that really pushed you out of your comfort zone and you did not complain once. You abseiled, you rock climbed, you embraced the giant swing. You just did everything with so much positive attitude and we really couldn't ask for more than that. Some really great memories of the two camps that we went on. Uh, year 9, another fond memory is definitely the visit that we had from the Iron Up crew. 200 of you on the field lined up in lines, just being yelled at pretty much by drill sergeants, boot camp style, and you guys did the challenge. You looked at the mental strength that you needed, you used it, you got through the day, you embraced it 110%. And, you know, you walked away from there not only looking at the physical attributes of that day, but also the mental strength that you took from that. During our time together, we experienced the dab, the bottle flip, which absolutely drove me mental. And there were so many other little things along the way, which I will never forget. You guys taught me how to do things better how to help people better and you are the reason why I followed my dreams of becoming a head teacher welfare and I will always be so thankful for the things that you guys taught me along the way and I only hope that there are some things that you guys take with you of what I was able to teach you through our journey together. I wish you all the best year 12. I know that your future is bright. I know that you will achieve anything that you set your mind to. Don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. Until we see each other again, U12, I really hope that your future is everything that you hope, dream and wish for. Good luck and I will see you soon.
Bye guys. Dear Year 12s, congratulations. No longer will you have to wear a school uniform. All jokes aside, congratulations on your amiable efforts this year and for laying a pathway for us to follow and look up to. Despite the difficulty of this year, you have risen up to the occasion and moved forward with a positive attitude. You have shown the rest of the school the full potential of the graduating class of 2020. As you leave here with your heads held high, we wish you the best for all your future endeavours and we praise the legacy that you leave us with. All the best, the class of U9. Today is an event that evokes different feelings and emotions within each and every one of you. Excitement and anticipation beginning what lies ahead, sadness in leaving a place that has nurtured you for over six years, and anxiety in contemplating what lies ahead. First, we would like to congratulate you on this tremendous occasion. For some, there will be regret for what could have been, and for others, joy and satisfaction for what has been achieved. Regardless of how you are feeling, you've all been influenced by your time at Cecil Hills High School. The person you are today, to a significant degree, is the result of your interactions with the staff and students of Cecil Hills and the memories you have shared. We know it's not an easy ride, especially this year alone. There were plenty of obstacles and difficulties along the way, but it was your persistence, your resilience and your ambition that has led you here today, not only as graduates, but as future achievers. Your path does not belong to your teachers, your parents, your leaders or your loved ones. Your path is your character defining itself more and more every day like a photograph coming into focus. I'm sure we can both agree on the fact that you've all been an inspiration to us from the very beginning we entered as U7s to today where we've all persevered against Corona. You've proved to us that if you really want success, then you just have to work for it. And with that being said, we are grateful for your guidance and encouragement since the very beginning. Once again, we would like to congratulate you on this enormous achievement. It's been an honour and a blessing to walk alongside each and every single one of you. We wish nothing but the best for your future and accomplishments you will make. Thank, Thank you. you.
Good morning, Year 12. Staff present this morning, and also welcome parents, our mums and dads and families, as well as our caregivers, all watching us live, online, from where you've made your arrangements this morning. While not ideal, and with the constraints on all schools, we've brought the Cecil community together, uh, together again, as best we can, to celebrate the class of 2020. Before we begin this morning, I remind all present, could you please turn off your mobile phones, and if you could do that now, as a sign of respect for each other and our ceremony. And to celebrate the, the, uh, this morning as guided by our Masters of Ceremonies. So if we could just turn off our mobile phones now. So let's begin this morning by standing for the entry of our official party. Thank you. While they enter, I ask you to remain standing for the acknowledgement of country, followed by the singing of our national anthem. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge the Darug people who are tr the traditional custodians of this land. Darug land is the land of our ancestors and their spirits still walk among us today. I would also like to pay my respect to the elders, past and present of the Darug nation and extend that respect to all Aboriginal people present. Together, we'll always believe in success. Welcome you, we welcome you to the Darug land. Thank you. Please be seated. Oh. Can you please stand for the national anthem? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the final part of the graduation ceremony for the Cecil Hills High School U12 class of 2020. Nicholas and myself would like to give you our final address to our fellow students in U12. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the class of 2020, Isabella and I would like to welcome all teachers, friends, family, and special guests to the 2020 graduation ceremony of Cecil Hills High School. Now, without being said, today is an exciting day. Today, we are able to witness our graduation at the hands of a virus, a virus that, that has not only resulted in the shortage of toilet paper, but it's also forced our parents to watch the most significant achievement in our lives through a YouTube video. And let's not forget the bushfires, droughts, floodings, the mental breakdown, and the increase in Karens. As a, cohort, these changes that we, <laughs> as a cohort, these changes that we have faced is not only a testament to our perseverance and commitment to excellence. And despite all these odds, we still managed to graduate. But now we have an opportunity, an opportunity to take on the world and to quote unquote leave a legacy. In reference to my captain's speech, William Shakespeare and Channing Tatum claim that some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. In life, we can't always count on being great or having greatness thrust upon us, but remember that many of our social and political leaders and heroes began as an average human being, as just one of you and me. Good and bad comes with the day of our graduation. The good, no more teachers yelling at the colour of our socks or that piercing sound of the bell. The bad, today is the last day we can officially get student discounts on UV tickets. Today is also the day we can thank whoever created copy and paste because without them, most of us wouldn't be in our gowns today. 2020 has unquestionably been a roller coaster of a year, but this class of 2020 has been one of the most successful, outstanding and resilient of all the classes. We have many academically talented individuals, Australian grade sporting achievers, X Factor worthy musical performers, and professional leaders and role models. Class of 2020, it has been an absolute privilege to spend six, with, six years with you, and from the bottom of our hearts, we wish you all the very best. Well, we may not have the power to inspire the whole world to believe in success, but we do have the power to believe it for ourselves. My challenge to each of you, and to myself and Nicholas, is to do all we can do to reach our full potential. If each and every one of us in this graduating class is able to do that, just imagine the effect we would have on the world. The future is truly in our hands, so let's make the most of it. And finally, on behalf of the class of 2020, we would like to extend our gratitude to Ms. Haskett, our year advisors, Ms. Fagan and Mr. Robinson, and all our teachers for all your dedications and hard work in making our schooling lives a truly unforgettable and wonderful experience. Can we please have Mr. Ms. Fagan and Mr. Robinson up here, please? I now invite the year advisors, Ms. Fagan and Mr. Robinson, to give their final farewell to Year 12. Morning. May we just start by letting you all know what a pleasure it has been to work with you over the last couple of years as your year advisors. You have worked with a number of year advisors over your time here at Cecil Hills High School and you have seamlessly transitioned each time. This is something you should be proud of as a year group. As a new member of staff at Cecil Hills, I felt really welcomed by all of you. This is a testament to your warm nature. My first event working with you as a year advisor was at the biggest morning tea, and, and what an event to start with. I could see from that early stage that you were all a compassionate members of the community, evidenced by the large sum of money raised for breast cancer research. The number of students that were happy to give up their time and provide resources to the event blew me away. You are a generous bunch, and I sincerely hope that you keep that spirit within you as you move through life. As your 13 years of schooling come to an end, we would like to wish you all the best with your future endeavours. Mr Dawkins, Miss O'Malley, Mr Issa and Miss Cassetto would like to extend their best wishes to you also. 
They have expressed their pride in you as young adults. A big thank you to each of these people for their support and assistance with your schooling and your welfare. To think that in 2015, you were just starting your high school journey. 2015 saw a number of changes in, in our world. The Bali Nine ringleaders were executed after many years of negotiation through the Indonesian court system. Michelle Payne became the first female jockey to win the Melbourne Cup. And Mick Fanning proved himself a master of the waves by punching a shark in the face. The next few weeks will be paramount to your success in the HSC. Study hard and achieve the results that you deserve. Work with your teachers in each of your subjects and show the world what you're made of. For those seeking further education and those ready for work, we hope we have equipped you with the skills for lifetime learning. Never stop questioning and endeavour to improve your knowledge wherever you can. There are so many people to thank on your behalf. These people have made today possible as well have, um, as supported you throughout your six years of schooling. A big thank you goes to Mrs Gianni. Mrs Gianni created these beautiful flower pieces and she helped with the decorations for today, which is such a difficult thing to do considering the situation that we've been put in. To Mrs Randall, as her position as Head Teacher Welfare, for her continued support of you over your schooling years. To Mr Alfonsi, thank you for your perseverance in making sure that these 200 students got to where they are today. To Mrs Reid for her invaluable knowledge of the workforce and systems for tertiary education. I'm sure all of you have taken something from her words of wisdom and will be better for it in the future. To your previous deputy principals who have guided you with care and a firm hand when necessary, Miss Scott and Miss Tyson. And finally, to Mrs Haskett who has led you with compassion through the last 18 years of your lives. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm all good, okay. No, okay. Listening to you, guiding you and encouraging you to become the 100, oh, I got it wrong, 193 young adults we see before us today. Okay. Congratulations to all of our special award recipients today, from those of you who have conducted themsel themselves with skill and finesse on the sporting field, to those of you who have studied hard and achieved fantastic results. You have certainly made the most of your time here at Cecil, and we applaud you for your dedication and maturity. Okay. <laughs> You'll hopefully look back. Oh, I can't do it, you can do it. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> you will hopefully look back fondly at your time here at, at Cecil Hills High School. May the friendships you have forged here last you a lifetime, as well as the knowledge you have gained through your studies. We will certainly remember you. You have left a mark here that will not easily be erased. Over the next couple of years, you will discover who you are as a person. Always remember to be true to, to the beautiful person you were born to become. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fagan and Mr. Robinson, for all the support, guidance, encouragement, and hard work that you have given our year group, especially in this challenging year. We have now reached the final part of the program, and Mr. Sutton will now present the special awards. Thank you. It's uh, now my great pleasure to announce a number of very important awards for this graduation ceremony. The Year Advisors Award is provided to two students who have demonstrated strong support for their grade over a sustain, sustained period of time. Both of these students have demonstrated their willingness to help out and support school initiatives, including fundraising. They've balanced these extracurricular responsibilities with a proven ability to perform academically and are on track for impressive results. Both of these students have finished their time at Cecil Hills High School, attaining more than 200 champ points each, highlighting their respectful, responsible and successful approach to every day of high school. Please join me in congratulating the two winners of our 2020 Year Advisor Awards, Jennifer Sakprasit and Chloe Vienkam.
The Mulgaw Leadership Award is provided annually by our local member of the New South Wales Parliament. This year's award recipient has been an important member of our SRC and a past member of the House Leadership Team. In and out of the classroom, she's worked extremely hard, producing strong results in both the academic field and for our student leaders. She's brought a sense of approachability, positivity and empathy to her leadership role. In particular, she's been recognised for the help provided to younger students, working with them to support their transition to high school. Please congratulate the winner of the 2020 Mulgoa Leadership Award, Isabella Rizos. The Caltech's Best All-Rounder Award is presented to a student who makes a significant contribution to their school and the community. It's awarded to a student who excels academically, displays a positive attitude, exhibits strong leadership skills and has a sense of service. This year's award recipient has shown immense leadership skills as a former House Captain, playing an important role in the House leadership team. She's represented the school, and competed in a wide range of sports, including swimming, basketball, cross country, water polo, netball, and Oztag. She's balanced these commitments with strong academic results in advanced and extension courses, and has attained nearly 300 champ points over the last six years. Please congratulate the winner of the 2020 Caltech's Best All-Rounder Award, Bianca Dempsey. The Australian Defence Force Award is presented for outstanding qualities of leadership within our school and in the wider community. It's awarded in remembrance of the veterans of Long Tan, who displayed attributes including determination, mateship, teamwork, tenacity and compassion. This year's winner has been an effective member of the SRC and shown initiative in organising a number of events. He's best known amongst Year 12 for being a wonderful human being. More specifically, he's provided ongoing support to his year advisors and advocated strongly for his grade. Please congratulate our winner of the 2020 Australian Defence Force Award, Luke Tai. The Australian Defence Force Future Innovators Award is a new prize and is presented to a student with a passion for STEM subjects and skills in innovation. The recipient of this year's award has demonstrated excellence in STEM subjects, including physics, chemistry, mathematics and engineering studies. As an exceptional academic student, he completed two HSC courses last year, which included a state ranking of fifth in New South Wales for business services. As a result of a deep commitment to academic excellence, he is on track for an impressive ATAR, and we predict a very bright future. Please congratulate our winner of the 2020 Australian Defence Force Future Innovators Award, Winston Fock. Thank you. Congratulations to those students. I now invite Ms Fagan and Mr Robinson to the microphone for the last time to do the final roll call 
and present the portfolios to the graduating class of 2020. All right. Hopefully I can make it through this lot. Um, I didn't, I'll be fine. Just wanted to say thank you to each and every single one of you for your support of Sir and I. Um, for me, generally, um, from the six years apart from my one gap year at Bosley. All right. Okay, the class of 2020. Bianca Akampora. Andre Agathos. Heja Albayadi. Ashley Angelkovsky. Peter Akaba. Jennifer Awad. <laughs> Melanie Barber. Georgia Bayich, Sporting Award and 100% Attendance Award. <laughs> Jesse Barilla, second in exploring early childhood. Yara Barankui. <laughs> Selena Barreto. Zachary Bates, first in Mathematics Standard 2, first in VET Construction, second in Information Processes and Technology, outstanding academic achievement. Michaela Bonner. Haley Bowie, first in, ex in English Extension 1, outstanding academic achievement. Laura Bowie. Taylor Cabalterra. Alex Chang. <laughs> Rayanne Charafedin. Cassie Chow, 100% Attendance Award, Excellent Academic Achievement. It's been a long Aiden Cheng. Justin Chun, excellent academic achievement. Isabella Kina. Charlie Ching, second in standard two mathematics. Julia Chalamantri. Dominic Choi, first in sport, lifestyle and recreation. Nicholas Coletta. Jessica Silag, first in Earth and Environmental Science, first in Biology, first in Geography, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> Daniel Kupak. Nice. Tiana Kupak.
Amiran Dafta. Jeremy Darafet. <laughs> Kathy Darafet. <laughs> Rami Dawood. Bianca Dempsey, First in History Extension, Sporting Award, Bonera Zone, Secondary Principals Award, and Excellent Academic Achievement. <laughs> Stefan Dikic. <laughs> Ni Din. Natasha Durcha, 100% okay. attendance award. Amal El Mawas. <laughs> Jesaria Espiritu Badria. Yusuf Falah Hassan. Pasquale Fava. Talia Febo, first in Marine Studies, first in Mathematics Standard 1, second in English Studies. <laughs> Lauren Fidele. <laughs> Ziwa Fize. Winston Fock, first in chemistry, first in engineering studies, second in physics, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> Fatima Gamrawi. <laughs> Alessio Gian Domenico. Laura Giovanale. <laughs> Alana Gretsch. <laughs> Chloe Hanna, first in ancient history, second in business studies, outstanding academic achievement. Mary Hanna. Kiara Hawkins, 100% attendance award. Jaden Heng. Nikita Heng. <laughs> Scott Huang, second in photography, video, and digital imaging. Liam Humphreys, sporting award.
Henry Huynh. Henry Natasha Huynh. Second in legal studies, equal third in business studies, outstanding academic achievement. Monica Ibrahim, first in English Extension 2, second in Visual Arts. Daniel Issa. Jonathan Issa. Samantha Issa. Elijah Jabour. <laughs> Mahana Jamil. Gil Jenkins, 100% Attendance Award. Abia Joby. <laughs> Lamore Joseph, excellent academic achievement. Vanessa Joseph, 100% Attendance Award. Simone Capelia. Aidan Cara. Asma Katoub. Mary Kalatba. Fazalat Khan. Emma Kashaba. Kevin Kashaba. Emin Kilich, second in industrial technology, 100% attendance award. Georges Kouakis. <laughs> Philip Kodzapelic. <laughs> Marcus Kodzapelic. Stephanie Koval, first in photography, video, and digital imaging. Dylan Kumar, second in earth and environmental science, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> Ranika Kumar.
Helen Coates. Yelena Lazic, second in drama. <laughs> Catherine Lee, first in community and family studies, third in biology, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> Vivian Lee. Brandon Lee. Kiniki Lee. Julie Junior Leilua, first in life skills food technology, first in life skills music, first in life skills PDHPE, first in life skills work and community. Joel LeCastro. Eric Lim, excellent academic achievement, 100% attendance award. <laughs> Jamie Lim. Sian Lim, 100% attendance award. Danilan Mariano. Daniel Markovic. Max Mayhew. Jared McKinley, Sporting Award. <laughs> Helen Mirza, second in English Advanced, equal second in Personal Development, Health and Physical Education, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> Giuseppe Michelli. <laughs> Daniel Mihalovic, Sporting Award and Benira Zone Secondary Principals Award. <laughs> Anastasia Miakovats. Monica Mladenovic. Alex Mascara. Joseph Nakdi. Ariane Nair. Christina Nekic, first in legal studies, second in society and culture, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Daniel Nematalahi.
Jonathan No, excellent academic achievement. Andrew Nov. Andy Nguyen. Brooklyn Nguyen. Christine Nguyen, first in exploring early childhood. Dylan Nguyen, second in sport, lifestyle and recreation. Second, second in vet construction. Elvis Nguyen, first in music, first in physics, second in chemistry, second in maths extension two, second in engineering studies, 100% attendance award, outstanding academic achievement. Henry Nguyen. Kelvin Nguyen, first in mathematics extension two, excellent academic achievement. Luke Nguyen. Lynn Nguyen. Tracy Nguyen, second in marine studies. Nastasia Novoretti. Yona Ofi. Felicity Olivara, second in English Standard. Kiara Oshana. Tyron Oi. Olivia Powell, ex excellent academic achievement. Maria Pavkovic, excellent academic achievement. Velko Petkovic, first in information process and technology, second in personal development, health and physical education, outstanding academic achievement. Cindy Pham, first in personal development, health, physical education, equal third in business studies, sporting award, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> Tiffany Pham Lee. Bill Fan. Alex Pom, first in vet hospitality. Talia Poonen. Nick Prostizanovsky, 100% attendance award. <laughs> Nat
Nicolia Prostran. Sporting Award, Benira Zone Secondary Principals Award. Sebastian Rafadi. Roosevelt Reach. Lucas Rosotto, first in life skills art, first in life skills citizenship. <laughs> Isabella Rizos, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Nicholas Rizos. Theodora Rusic, first in modern history, first in society and culture. Woo! Jennifer Sakprasit, second in community and family studies, excellent academic achievement. Aidan Salim. Arthur Samuel. Emma Sanchez, second in English Extension 1, second in English Extension 2, third in Mathematics Standard 2. Mir Siraj, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Lily Soya, first in English studies, 100% attendance award. <laughs> Emily Sorv, excellent academic achievement. Emily Sazdanovska. Oh, Emily, Emily, come back. Emily Sazdanovska. Thomas Schoenkel. Jasmine Scully, second in economics, sporting award, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Alicia Sek. <laughs> Matthew Sennett. Tatiana Shimon. Keely Simpson. <laughs> Elizabeth Sin. Jessica Siramanatham. Alexia Sivak, Sporting Award. <laughs> Vanessa Sock.
Selena Stabile, excellent academic achievement. Diana Stanisic. <laughs> Jessica Stanley, Sporting Award, excellent academic achievement. Cassandra Sue, excellent academic achievement. Vivian Sue, outstanding academic achievement. Stavro Suleiman, second in mathematics standard one. Alfred Ten. Leon Tepsa, equal second in geography, outstanding academic achievement. Luke Tai, first in industrial technology, sporting award, 100% attendance award, outstanding academic achievement. Milan Tamanovic, outstanding academic achievement. Alan Tong, 100% Attendance Award, Outstanding Academic Achievement. Tara Tram, Excellent Academic Achievement. Claudia Tran, Equal Second in Geography, Outstanding Academic Achievement. Catherine Tran. Nathan Tran, second in biology, second in music, third in English standard, 100% attendance award, outstanding academic achievement. <laughs> William Tran. Kevin Trung. Olivia Tu, first in English Standard, first in Visual Arts, 100% Attendance Award, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Natalie Vargas. Natalia, sorry. Samuel Vella, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Chloe Vien Kim, second in modern history, 100% attendance award, excellent academic achievement. <laughs> Janice Villegas, 100% attendance award. Claudia Violi. Jimmy Vu. Tiana Wasif, first in drama. Justin Webster, first in mathematics advanced, excellent academic achievement. Yeah. Diego Whelan. Yeah. 
Jamie Williams. Ethan Worth, 100% Attendance Award. <laughs> Celeste Wu, second in Ancient History, second in History Extension, Outstanding Academic Achievement. <laughs> Nicholas Zhu, first in Business Studies, first in Economics, first in English Advanced, second in Mathematics Advanced, and Outstanding Academic Achievement. Naomi Yukana. Andraus Youssef. Anthony Youssef. and James Sue. Congratulations, Year 12. The Deputy Principal, Ms. Haskell, will now announce the final academic awards of the Assembly. It is my honour today to announce the, our most prestigious awards of Ducks, second and third in the year. The competition for these awards was extremely close. Equal third in our year group was Jessica Schillag. Cindy Pham. And Nicholas Zhu. And congratulations to second in year, Elvis Nguyen. And Ducks of 2020 is Winston Fox. Can thirds please come back on stage? On behalf of Cecil Hills High School, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. You deserve to be proud for completing your schooling. I would like to wish you all the best in your HSC exams and beyond. Please take this opportunity to celebrate with us with some light refreshments outside. Would you please stand and turn to the camera before you go? Turn. You're going to just dip your hat, your cap. You're not throwing them, you're dipping your cap to 
the audience. Up. Class of 2020, congratulations. Don't throw your caps, please. Okay. One more for the photographer, please. Just tip in your caps. Thank you, class of 2020. It's you.